Hi, right, welcome back everybody. It's really good to see you. Stoker here and today we're going to be looking at the Husqvarna camping action to see if this is the one that you need to put into your pack. And if you want to show your support to the channel, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. Hey, and if you're looking for one of these things, I'll leave some links down below so you can check them out for yourself. All right, so you know, as we're looking at the Husqvarna uh, Camping Axe, it is really a hatchet. It's 15 inches in length. And then before we take a little bit closer look at some of the details on this thing, I want to tell you it does come with a leather sheath, which is a really good design and has a nice welt in it. Of course, the Husqvarna Camping Axe is made by Holtz Brooks, so it's Swedish made and Swedish steel, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. And I gotta tell you, I got a little weakness in my heart for things with blades on them. I have a couple other ax axes and hatchets, and I got a tons of knives all over the place. Never leave home without one, to be honest with you. But I wanted to test out a Swedish steel axe or hatchet and see if it really lives up to the height. So this particular one I picked up at a local store, it was, uh, I wanna say it was $69. Looking at the reviews, a couple things I noticed through the Husk Varna axes was that people were breaking their blades. And why that happened, man, I don't know. I wasn't there, I wasn't watching them use it. Uh, but I did make sure because it is stamped by the person who forges it. So I made sure that that stamping was up as high as I could. So they had like four different ones in there and I made sure that was the highest one. Also made sure that the handle had nice smooth grain on it like this one does. And of course, they, they are all American hickory handles, so that they're nice and solid. And one of the things I really like about this axe is the ergonomics are phenomenal. Man, they are great. Uh, the size is just about perfect, you can see, and that's exactly what you want. Fingertips about touching the palm of your hand right down there. And then if you want to choke up on it, it still feels really good in the hand. I am going to do another video on how I'm going to customize this thing and take care of it a little bit more because Holtz Brooks is making these for Husqvarna. They don't spend as much of attention to detail on them as they do with their own. And so some of it just needs to be cleaned up. Uh, the blade, although it is nice and sharp uh, coming from the factory, could use a little bit of attention to detail. And the handle itself, in my opinion, although it's the perfect size, I want to do a little bit of things to it. So I'm going to burn it. Uh, finish it off with uh, some linseed oil and probably take my foreign hand file to it as well. So make sure if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that video that I'm gonna push out in a few weeks. So Husqvarna doesn't have a whole lot of information on this ax, but I can tell you looking at uh, Holtz Brooks's website and looking at their Tarnaby ax or hatchet, it is identical. 15 inch handle, one and a quarter pound head. So while the head is a little bit lighter than some of the axes that are out there, it also has a little bit longer of a handle. And that should prove beneficial by being able to give me a little bit more leverage as I'm swinging this thing. All right, everybody, so that's enough talking. Let's get outside and put this thing to the test. We're gonna start off by chopping up some kindling out of some dug fir. I also got some hardwood as well. We're gonna chop up a round and I'm gonna try to make a steak. Let's get to it. So I got a couple pieces here. Uh, we'll chop them into some kindling. Uh, some nice straight grain dug for particular piece here is a little bit skinnier. And then I got this piece here as well. We'll chop up, and then I got some hardwood here. We'll work on that, and then we'll uh, cut up on some rounds as well. See how it does with that.
take a little closer look. See what kind of bite she got. See, it's pretty good. Pretty deep. Let's keep on hacking and see what, how she does. All right, everybody, so I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Taking a quick look and review at the Husqvarna Camping Axe. As you can see, made uh, pretty easy work of the Douglas fir, chopping that up into kindling. And was able to get through the hardwood pretty easy, but of course it's not an axe, so it's not going to cut through thicker pieces like this. was also able to carve up just a quick stake out of a round I had real quick. And as you saw... Man, it chopped right through this round pretty easy. So I think it's pretty good addition. Nice and lightweight enough to put in your pack and carry around with you. Come in stock. Uh, it does have pretty good edge on it. I'm pretty impressed with it. So if you stay tuned, I'm going to transform this thing into something a little bit more personal. You probably want to take a look at that as well. If you enjoyed the content of the video, hit the like and the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video, as well as if you have your own favorite hatchet as well. And as always, until then, we'll see you.